Okay, uh, welcome back. This is Patrick Jackson, and uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you how to do inequalities in 8080 assembly. First, we got to get our requisite drink again, as always. Mmm. <coughs> Good stuff. Okay, before we begin, uh, let's go over some theory. So, inequalities. We use them all the time in C and C++ and many other languages. They go with a little something like this. If x something, you know, operand, then do something. Very easy, you know, greater than, less than, or equal to. Or you can even chain them together, right? Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, not equal to, stuff like that. Now, in uh, many assembly languages nowadays, um, especially ones such as uh, in the AVR instruction set, um, ARM, uh, you'll see branch instructions. Uh, what they'll do is like branch if not equal to, branch if equal to, um, and they work very much the same way as your if statements in C do. However, when you're not working on a risk architecture or a predecessor to the risk architecture, such as 8080 assembly, uh, you don't have these branch instructions. You sort of are left to fend for yourself. Um, how do you conditionally branch? Well, you conditionally jump instead of conditionally branch. And you do this by reading the flags. Now, if you've ever looked at the register files of the 8080 or the Z80 or anything like that, you'll see a mysterious, you'll see a mysterious register called F. Um, it's not quite a register, it's just the flag register. Uh, it just holds a bunch of flags. Um, you could do bitwise operations on it to figure out what flags are what, but you don't need to because there's already instructions to test each flag. So the most basic uh, inequality, equal, is equal to, uh, is used with the JZ instruction, jump if zero. Basically what happens is if any arithmetic operation you just did uh, resulted in zero um, in the accumulator, then the zero uh, flag is set. And JZ is jump at zero, so basically if, right, if accumulator zero, boom, jump to zero. Uh, you can do this by, say, your uh, accumulator has number five in it, right? And you want to see if your accumulator is in fact five. So what you can do is you can do sub 5 to subtract 5 from the accumulator and then do a jz right after it. So if there was in fact a 5, then 5 minus 5 is 0, there's a 0 in the accumulator, the zero flag, 0 flag is set, and boom, you're off to the races. Now this uh, brings up a conundrum here, because there is in fact a compare instruction in the 8080 instruction set. Uh, there is compare immediate and then there is compare register. Compare register compares target register with the, uh, you know, with the accumulator and compare immediate, compares an immediate value with the uh, accumulator. But it's actually way simpler than that. What actually happens is um, it's a subtraction. So what actually ends up happening is that literally it's a mnemonic change. There's no special circuitry, it's literally just a mnemonic. Where, where it says CPI, it's just think of it as a SUI, subtract immediate. You're literally subtracting the immediate value from the accumulator, and that's all the compare is. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, so that's the, that is the most basic one to check if equals to. So in order to do uh, less than inequality in ADA assembly, we have to look at the JC instruction to jump if carry. So remember uh, when CPI or compare register is run, it's a subtraction. And what actually is happening is they're subtracting uh, the immediate value from the accumulator. So if you're going to do a test of less than, you're going to see if the accumulator is in this less than your immediate, not the other way around. So if you have a CPI 6, um, and then you have a 5 in the accumulator, when you do a subtraction, you'll get a negative 1. Um, 
And what that ha when that happens, you get the carry flag set. All you have to do is see if the carry flag is set. If the carry flag is set, then it is in fact less than. So that's very easy. That's easy enough. But here comes the problem. What if you want to see if something is greater than? Well, uh, all you have to do is use the JNC operation, jump if not carry. However, this is the big catch in ADA assembly for inequalities. J JNC is also set or is also true if the operation was also equal to. So JNC actually tests if it is greater than or equal to, if the accumulator is greater than or equal to your, your accumulator. So what you have to do to see if something is, if your accumulator is greater than something, you first have to check to see if it is equal to, then you have to check to see if the carry flag was not set. Then you can be sure that the, uh, that the operation was in fact a greater than operation. So uh, let's stop talking and let's put this into some practice here. So t by here is going to just be uh, the immediate value we're going to be testing with. Um, let's just do five right now. Okay, right. Start at 100h, always, always. So first we're going to load the accumulator with something. Uh, let's just load it with five. Then we're going to compare, right? Then we're going to test to see if it is less than. If it is in fact less than, we will jump to the label less. An important note is that the CPI um, is not actually a true SUI instruction. Unlike the SUI, the CPI preserves the accumulator. So what that means is you can do multiple tests and uh, it will not be uh, the result, even though it's a subtraction, will not be uh, written back, it will not be written back to the accumulator. So now let's do uh, check to see if it is equal to. And then finally we do the JNC greater because we have determined uh, if the code gets to this line, it was not equal and it was not less than. Of course, you probably don't need the JNC greater. You could do an immediate jump or just have a code run right here because that was really the only option left now, was it? Um, just in case something happens, let's have a return just at the end. You know, you don't want to, you don't want weird things to happen. So let's make our labels. 
Well, uh, we want to print out a message, right? So let's print out a message. Um, I'll call this uh, message labeled LSS. Um, LSS to D. Call printf. And then right. And then right. Equal. So D Q. Code Q. I'm gonna do that label. Do D. Call def. And then of course we got a return. Let's make our print of routine. Okay, and now let us make our uh, text labels. Let's db, let's see, um, let's then. Equal to. Don't forget that trailing new line. Now let's try building it. So so remember here that we are testing the CF five and five, um, and we're going to see what what five and five do in an inequality. Equal to, uh, let us change t byte. So as you can see, um, t byte is now six and the accumulator is now five, so the accumulator is less than t byte. Let's see if that holds true. It is less than. Let's try one more change. As you can see, t byte is less than the accumulator, making the accumulator greater than t byte. Let's see if that holds true. It is greater than. So as you can see, uh, it's very easy to do inequalities in um, 
idiot assembly uh, the less than and equal to are very direct checks uh, however the greater than you have to check to see if it is equal to first then you check to see if it is greater than or equal to uh, that's the only catch there um, and that's it really uh, uh, thank you for coming along for this really uh, short ASM tutorial and I will see you next time Mm-hmm.